Have you ever seen a vent interior like this? I said I wanted it to be a swanky lounge. Hi, my name is Linda and I want to introduce you to The Great Gatsby. Have you ever seen a vent interior like this? We're going to give you an interior design tour that Linda and her husband Mike have really put together. And it's amazing. This is a Travato 59K floor plan, but you hardly even know it. It looks like a suite at a hotel. Yes. Linda, tell us what's going on here. We're going to point out some things specifically, but Great Gatsby, tell us about this. Well, when we were searching for a van, we actually are newbies, so we just picked this up in the end of October. I had some criteria. I needed or I wanted a van that had lithium, so I wanted no generator, but I needed AC. I also needed an open floor plan, so, but I also wanted a big bed. So how do you get all that in one in a space? Van, right? In a van, right. I said I wanted it to be a swanky lounge and I'm all about the 1920s. Uh, I love that era. And I also have vacation rentals in St. Augustine, and that's really kind of where we started. Um, and they're kind of themed, right? <clears throat> yes, yeah. they're all themed. I actually have two 1920 condos in St. Augustine. That is so cool. Um, yeah, so the Great Gatsby for our vacation rentals is so popular, and I was like, who wouldn't want a Gatsby van? So, and that's how it all started. Well, let's uh, have you show us around. Again, you've done some things really differently. We'll maybe start with the cabinets. So I'm going to um, pick the camera up and kind of show us some of the, like the, the pictures, the wallpaper. It's just so different in here. I'm just, thank you again for sharing. It's just amazing. I'm honored that you're here. <laughs> it's just so great. So Linda, the th first thing that really is obvious to me is the cabinetry. You've done something to the cabinetry here and clearly there's something special about the back wall. So just tell us a little bit about what you did here because again, this is a Travato 59K. So yes. tell us what you did here. It's all, tell us what you did. Well, some people may not agree with my decision. However, this used to have the really light color wood paneling that was high gloss. But for me, my jam is really black and white. And for my 1920s theme, that's really what we were shooting for. So I actually went to a uh, van wrap company and had them, it's called 201 Wraps. And they took on the project of wrapping all of the wood interior. So if we ever sell it, it's you can just peel that away and get your wood paneling back if that's what you desire. And they kind of blacked out all of the wood that yes. was installed by Winnebago. Yes. So it's just a really dramatic effect. Uh, it's so well done. You've even gone to the expense of replacing these chrome with black. Yes. You know what? It's really the attention to details that matter. Yeah. Um, so... One of the big things I should mention too, before I forget, all the electronics were here. Oh yeah. So this is very valuable retail space. When you've got a van full of windows, it's like, how do you accessorize? Where's the art gonna go? And I really only have these two walls. So what we did is we went to another, um, we went to a van builder and I'll have to get you the name because I forget. We like to share resources. Yes, yep. yes, yep. exactly. And I'm not good with that. I'm just the decor person. <laughs> So we had them actually pop it in the cabinet. Now, some people might say it's a big no-no because you're losing cabinet space. Right. Um, but for me, aesthetically, when you came in, I hated all the electronics and I hated that if yeah. you wanted to lean back, you might flip a switch by mistake. And we also put in these uh, motion sensor lights so that when you actually access the cabinet, um, and this is actually kind of cool because you can see what it used to look yes. like. Yes. Uh, so a very dramatic, again, effect. Yeah. Uh, so well done. That was probably not an easy project, but it looks really nice. Yes. No, I, I don't know if they'll do it again because <laughs> it seemed really cut and dry. And then one day turned into like two days <laughs> and over time. But um, yeah, I kind of cheaped out. I was like, you don't need to wrap the inside. Yeah, it looks cool. It looks so. cool. Uh, so tell us about the wallpaper and these, these pictures. So um, a lot of people... Here's how you mounted these. Are they screwed into the wall or how did you do that? Um, so this is peel and stick. Okay. And fortunately for me, my husband's very handy, not just handsome, but he's handsome and handy. Um, so I actually have this in my master bath at home. I actually have a 1920s themed bathroom that I just did a complete remodel with uh, this wallpaper. 
And so these are pictures I actually just found off of Amazon and it's a depiction of the days of prohibition, right? And this one on this side is uh, the day prohibition ended. So you can see everybody's in the bar having a great old time. This guy's working a lot because his apron's filthy. So, yeah. But um, so it's kind of like a, a speakeasy on wheels is what I want to say. And it's so cool. I wish you all could just be here. And just, it has such a different feel. Tell us about the, the cushions. And, and these are... <laughs> Oh my God. Like body, what is this? We're looking okay. at it. It's so cool. All right. Well, long story short, we are only half finished with our modifications. Improvise. I did have these pillows. They're going to be stationary, but they, everyone's like, oh, what do you do with pillows? They're in the way, blah, blah, blah. But they do double duty too. So for instance, these actually have comforters in there. They have, both of these have twin comforters. This one has a throw blanket. These are just body pillows. Mind you, I'm improvising here. Uh, <laughs> part two is coming. These are all our king pillows because we enjoy making this lounge area into a king bed. So during the day, it's got to look good and, and it functions as a backrest. So it's really clever. Thanks. So dual functionality van, very important. Yes. And you've just gone to such great lengths here. Like here's the little card table. I actually have glasses here. Yeah, everybody needs a china cabinet, right? I if know, you're gonna especially function, in a van. <laughs> function as a bar you better have a nice china cabinet but um and look at this they've even gone to the extent of having a, a record player yes we got some uh, Louis Armstrong uh sometimes Sinatra sometimes ACDC you never know what's gonna come out of this van it's so cool and you replace the lights we replace the lights so they have the function to actually turn blue uh -huh. and on and they dim too do they do uh, this is as dim as it'll go okay. um and then you have these little lights that do the, the blue as well. Yeah. See, now these used to be chrome as well. So you go on Amazon, it's the little details. Yeah. So it's a shame, but we, you know what else we did? We brought all of our stuff that we took out of the van and we put a free sign outside and the lady across the street got a couple of rugs. A lot of nice things <laughs> came out of this van, but it didn't go in the garbage. Recycle, yeah. Yeah, reuse. reuse, people want make that. People happy. And tell us about this. You know, we all love our Libation Live. Um, this is just, again, the, the wrapping to block, uh, black out the, the yes. wood is so like cool. Yes, like I said, I'm not sure they'll want to do this again, but this is the typical airline table that everybody complains about. So I've seen a lot of modifications on the Travato Mods uh, Facebook page, and what they've done is they simply took the airline table. This used to flip up, but we, we made it secure because people like to grab on that when they come in for some reason. So. There's my little battery rechargeable light, which is awesome. So what we did is we mounted the table on the outside. It's on hinges. I'm just going to warn you. It looks so easy on Facebook, but what we ended up, here's your, here's your pro tip. When we ended up just simply putting the table on the outside, got it all done. It was like, oh, it's so beautiful, cute little bar cart. We spun the chair around and realized every inch matters and we couldn't put the chair back. So guess what Mike had to do? This thing took like two days. He had to climb underneath, <laughs> cut the floor, pull this out like two inches and a little bit towards the door so that when this tabletop goes down, we can actually recline that seat. Super. That is so amazing. So it's not for the faint of heart, but, and he asked me <clears throat> hundreds of times, remind me again why I'm doing this. And I'm like, well, it's a speakeasy swanky bar. We need a we need an official bar. It so. is so beautiful. And you really, again, like you say, Linda, the, the details. So even on the inside here, you put some uh, subway tile yes. uh, wallpaper, stick them. And it just, again, gives such a different effect. It's Amazon. Uh, it's 3D peel and stick. And um, it's just so well done. Tell us about your curtains. Okay. So I got really lucky because these curtains are exactly the right measurement and I do not sew. So... Anyway, this is just held up with a tension rod. Uh, actually, it's a shower curtain rod. It's up there. It closes. It works as a, a insulator and a blackout curtain. And it's got these cute little pom-poms, which the details, ladies, I can't stress the details. Yeah, and it's just so well done. Again, famous for the, the twin bed floor plan in the K, but you guys have kind of taken this up another notch. So tell us about the table. This is very different. And then how do you make this into a bed? Okay, um, the table, which was really essential for a bed, 
uh, anyone who has a K knows that they have a big, huge rectangular table. It sits on both these posts, so it's very stationary. The problem with that is when you're using this as a dining table or a workspace, in order to get around that table, you literally would have to climb over these uh, the cushions to get into the bathroom. So if you're gonna have a lounge, you better have some cocktail tables. So we bought these just plain discs from Home Depot, just wood. We painted it, vinyl wrapped on the bottom, but we took the hardware off of the big rectangular table and mounted it on this so it's off center. So I have access to pass, but as I have company, it swings out to the middle. Actually, it swings all the way around. And we actually have two of these. So when I have a lot of company. You have two tables going. Yeah, we have two tables. And you can move them around so you're not trapped. Yes, exactly. So it's very easy to access the walkway. Now for the bed, what do you do? Because the tabletop was very essential to actually make the bed. So there used to be poles, like three of them. You set this big tabletop down, put the back cushions in, so what we've done instead is, Mike, this is another Travato modification. He built these slats, slats that wow. fit under here and it just rests onto here. And then you use the back cushions to fill that in. But actually we got really smart. We actually started pulling this mattress to that and the back cushions sit this on the back. This almost kind of falls into place. Yes, yeah. yes, and it helps prop our head up. We watch TV. We're small enough that we like to sleep this way it's so wide, I can't even tell you how much I enjoy this bed. Yeah. And But you could also sleep this way. But when we have our four-year-old, he, our grandson, by the way, uh, <laughs> I do not have a four-year-old, hence the gray hair. Uh, but there's plenty for three of us to come and camp yeah, here. So It's so great. Yeah. It's but just so amazing. This bathroom, you're going to see that there's a large armoire. We've done a couple of modifications, but not a lot. Um, this bottom drawer here actually has three drawers. However, they're very shallow. So the first drawer is where I keep all my beads, my diamonds, just kidding. But if you ever want to give me some, I'm happy. I have a place for them. Um, but the second drawer, second and third, were so shallow, you couldn't put anything really of any depth in there. So we did the modification that we saw on Travato Mods. I love that website, by the way. These people are so clever. And we combined the drawers, so now I can easily stack toilet paper and our towels in there, plenty of room. And they wrapped this too for us. So like I said, I don't know if they'll ever do another one, but here's our large clothing armoire. I think I'm gonna do a modification on that too. Half armoire for hanging, half for shelves, sure. but we'll see. And then this is our Art Deco bathroom. And it didn't take a lot of effort um, it took a couple of tries, but it's really just, okay, I'm gonna tell all my secrets here. That's right. It's just vinyl tape. So if you're going for the 1920s, Art Deco was such a big feature that I was like, you know what? And you know what? I got a lot of inspiration off of Pinterest, so. Use your resources. Yes, exactly. Get your, get your inspiration picture. So many people ask me how to decorate and they'll, they'll give me a ton of random stuff and I'm like, Where's your inspiration picture? So I had to get really strict on that. And I do it for myself too. I actually had a bathroom picture off of Pinterest and I was like, I love that. And then we just carried it over to this bathroom. It's so, so amazing. It just doesn't okay. feel like you're in a van at all. Now I'm a little curious about your, um, your doors here because those are silver. So they yes. black this out as well. No, my handy, S handsome spray paint? husband <laughs> spray paint. So we're like, woohoo! Wow. That is so cool. And open, yeah. And open, sesame. It's so cool. Ta -da. <laughs> totally. That is so great. Oh. So some people were would be like, why would you do that? But we even put another layer of vinyl on the flooring because I wanted the dark color. So mm. if you were blessed with dark flooring, keep it. Because this was a lot of effort on Mike's part to, yeah. to change that. Just so great. So I'm pretty inspired. Uh, a lot of people are kind of inspired by the interior of my van, but all I do is put some plants around basically. This looks like an interior designer thank got to you. work. So just thank you for sharing. Thank Linda, you. Mike's gonna show us outside really quick. All the energy went on the inside, so that's gonna be really fast. But just, yes. again, thank you for, for sharing. Your, does your van have a name? Uh, I'm thinking it's the Great Gatsby. Um, however, I do have a question for your viewers. Yes. 
the next thing, like you always talk about, the wrap. So we have a van wrap in process, um, but I wanted to know if people really wanted it. Like I have a lot of gold, uh, a lot of Art Deco. I mean, it's something that you could see for miles away. Do we want that or do we want the Art Deco look, but maybe One. matte with gloss mm. so that it's kind of stealthy, but it is going to be black. So. Let me know what you think. Do you want to be seen from five miles away or do you want to be kind of incognito, yes. but in uh, noticeable, but not wow. Yes, right? yes. But I, there's, you know, Aaron and Archer, your van. I could see that coming down the highway and I'm like, oh, so do we want to be the Gatsby going, oh, <laughs> or do we want to be like, wow, that's really sophisticated. What is that? And yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. And it has a lot of mystery. So it's... I'm really. I'm, I'm so leave torn. a comment below um, yes, and please. give a thumb up for Linda and Mike and their amazing van. Thank you. And just again, thank you so much for sharing. You're it welcome. Really More to a, come. I know. More to come. It's a disease. <laughs> you can't ever stop, right? That's exactly it's, it's it. So true. It's so cool in here. I can't wait to have a cocktail in here. Yes, absolutely. We got you. We got you all set up. I there. saw that. Thank I you even got much. you ice. I've been making ice for days at home. So. <laughs> that is so great. Uh, we're going to show you the outside real quick with Mike. Um, so stay tuned for that. So this is the other half of the equation. This is Good Mike. Good morning. <laughs> I know, thanks right? Thanks for coming over, Scott. Well, Pleasure thanks, to meet you. Thanks, and have you thank here. you for sharing your van. It's so cool. Um, Linda did a great job on the inside, so maybe just kind of walk us around on the outside. So clearly, there's a lot of energy on the inside, not yes. a lot outside. But what are we looking at? This is a Winnebago Travato. What year? So this is a 2021 National Park Edition uh, Travato K floor plan, KL lithium. Uh, Volta, right, has the four. Uh, lithium cells upgraded and uh, we're real happy with that. Volta is the whole reason that we chose uh, the Winnebago Travato and obviously all of the data and information that we learned from you Scott along the, along the way. Yeah, it's so, just such a game changer. Right? It the is. Freedom. It is. Now are you, I'm guessing you're not the types to run up into the woods and commune with the moose and the mosquitoes. You guys No, are... that actually will lead right into why, why, why we de-identified this, right? We're urban campers. We like to go right into the downtown right into the urban centers, find the why of the city yeah. and, uh, and experiment with that and explore, right? And uh, stay overnight. Stay overnight. So nothing really done on the outside except the debadging. Right. Which is kind of, and you left this on purpose because? Uh, kind of just proud of it, right? Yeah. It's yeah. kind of a neat thing that they're, uh, that they're ice affiliated breaker. with that. And uh, yeah, so we just wanted it to look like a and low the key bike rack off. urban van. Yep. And this is really nicely done here. So all the way to the exterior cabinetry here at the blackout, right. which is just right. so They wrapped nice. everything. They wrapped everything. Uh, just really nicely done. And how long have you had it? Uh, three months. Three months? Are you I serious? Know. Oh my God. Yep, three months. So we what got really you in, enjoyed it. What got you into a van to start with? Is this? Um, I think honestly, we wanted the opportunity to travel a little bit with our son who's in the music business. And we can go to shows now and uh, get right up close and personal, spend the night. We don't have to travel necessarily with them and be a, you know, a burden to them where they have to worry about the momager and the dadger. Right. Right? So Thrash Guard added, you guys did this? Came with it. Came with it. Yep. And somebody added the lights. Correct. So you bought used? Is that Previous owner. Assumption? Yep. Okay. We bought it in New Mexico. Which is kind of a great way to do this. It is. Because some of these have already been done for you. Yeah. So it was a perfect fit. It was a perfect fit. Previous owner was uh, very knowledgeable and took extremely good care of it and uh, schooled me pretty well at pickup time. Delivery was, was awesome and we enjoy them. In fact, they're going to be very surprised when they see the renovations we've done. <laughs> So just a big thumb up for Mike and Linda for sharing your great Gatsby van. It's just, just such an inspiration. And um, now do you have a decorating service? If somebody wanted to do this to their van, what's your hourly rate? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I haven't even thought about that, but that'll be the next adventure. That'll be the next right. adventure. But just uh, thanks again. Uh, comment below, what do you think about this? And uh, give a thumb up for, for Mike and Linda. Thank you again for um, Thank you. Sharing your van is so great. Absolutely. And our website is www.uniquestaysandgetaways if you're looking for a short term vacation rental in St. Augustine. And Could now we are going to add vans. Uh, yes. Add vans to the mix. We have Great so cool. Gatsby short term rentals, 50 Shades of Grey, and now a van. A van, Great Gatsby. Well, thank Nothing you again. Like a vacation. Thank you, Scott. Thank, thank you. you. Resources down below. Check it out.